I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. The greatest doctor in the church. Today's his day. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on the faith of the next generation. Like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get the app. It is available on all platforms. Donate. Your tax-deductible gift keeps Higher Things, a youth organization which is all about passing the faith to the next. We're all about filling the ear, ears of the kids in the church with the gospel. And, and your gift keeps us a rolling. Today is St. Augustine Day. Augustine is without doubt probably the greatest doctor in the church. Um, much of the doctrines that we hold dear um, were first confessed by St. Augustine. Um, uh, our view of the sacrament, a uh, cadet verbum et elementum fit sacramentum est, the word combined with an element makes the sacrament. Um, that's Augustine. Um, uh, many of the defenses in the early church against um, philosophy were St. Augustine. Um, he was born in 354 in North Africa an unbeliever. Um, his mother, Monica, who prayed for him fervently, her day was yesterday. We didn't get to celebrate it. We'll catch it next year. Uh, but um, she was a Christian. She prayed fervently for her son, who was very, very intelligent. He was renownedly known for his intelligence. It was said uh, that Augustine could read without his mouth moving, uh, which is sort of telling you about the in the ancient world, everybody who was reading was reading out loud. And here was Augustine who would read silently, Um, he wasn't interested in Christianity initially because it didn't sort of spark his, it didn't sort of seem very intellectual, philosophical. Um, he lived an awful life. Um, a kid outside of marriage. Um, later in his life, he prayed. Uh, he was said to have, have said something like, um, Lord, give me chastity. Just not, don't give it to me yet. Um, but the prayers of, 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 of Monica had, um, had Augustine to engage Ambrose. And Am you could not run into a um, greater gospel preacher in the early church than Ambrose, another doctor of the church. And Ambrose knocked Augustine on his tushy, um, theologically, philosophically, um, and the spirit worked through the words of Ambrose, and Augustine was brought to faith and baptized. Um, Late have I loved thee, said Augustine in his confessions, and that's recorded in uh, Pastor Whedon's book, which you always want to get, um, Celebrating the Saints, available on CPH. Um, as happened a lot in the early church, uh, Augustine was ordained a priest and then shortly after ordained a bishop of Hippo, um, which is in Algeria. And that's where he did most of his writings, most of his confessions, uh, City of God, his Inchiridion on the, on the spirit in the letter, um, where he, Whedon points out, prop talks about the proper distinction between law and gospel. Just a great, great father and a great gift to the church. Not the best. Luther said that um, um, Luther, who was an Augustinian monk, um, did later comment, you know, when the gospel came clear to me, I was done with Augustine. But, I mean, when you talk about giants in the early church, and doctors that, that whose effect was universal, you're talking about Augustine. 4.30, uh, the Germanic vandals sacked Hippo, and Augustine was killed. And all that was left was his cathedral um, and library, and that's where we get most of his works from. And so um, a blessed big day 
for the church, big gift to the church. Um, Augustine is said to have died on this day, uh, August the 28th. Um, still, it's good, to, it's good to celebrate him and all his work and his great confession. And that points to Jesus, the one who died for Augustine, for Monica, and for you and me. I'm Pastor George Barkhart, and Asleep at Thor, and this has been another Higher Things Video Short.